guys, welcome back to this album fashion. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be the now to cut this lovely dress of two pattern um, of fabric. You can see this is a dorset fabric and this is a silk fabric. You can see it now. So, I'm going to make the two together to achieve that particular style you're seeing on the screen. So, I'm using three yards of plain fabric and two yards of the um flower fabric the number of yards i'm using here is not constant it depends on the measurements you are dealing with so the first thing i'm going to do here is to fold this particular fabric into four this is into two this is into two you see this is into two then into four so this is into four is not equal i think to the fabric but it's not going to affect my measurement i think it's going to be okay so the first thing I'm going to consider here is the uh, measurement of this particular one and how can you achieve that? Because when you check it at the waistline, it's a little bit uh, faint. Then uh, it is because of that um, of that holes that will put in the rope. So how can you not achieve that? We have to have to our normal waist measurement. So by the time you tight it at that uh, waist, it's going to be firm. So we'll now start by taking the um, shoulder measurement first. The shoulder measurement I'm using here is 15 inches. That is 7.5 inches. With a shoulder slant of um, half inch, then I'm going to connect it to the center of both back and front here. Then the next thing I'll do here is to take the arm measurement. The arm measurement. I'll be making use of 8 inches because it's not fitted so that's why I'm making use of 8 inches then the waist measurement is 15.5 inches so the next thing I'm going to do here is take the bust measurement of um, 38 inches then I'll be adding a seam allowance of uh, 2 inches to it you can see then I'm going to connect it to the um, shoulder here then I'll come to the waist measurement of 30 inches. 30 inches for the waist. The same allowance of 2 inches as well. Then I'm going to connect them together like this. You can see. Then from here, I'm going to slant it down to the full length of the dress. And what is our full length here? I have to take that from the upper part here to the, to the length of the fabric and our full length is 58 inches i'm using the whole length of the fabric it's 58 inches and the 58 inches is with the seam allowance so the next thing i'm going to do here is to um cut it out starting from the shoulder here So you can see, you can see the curtains now, you can see the full length of the dress. So the next thing to do here is to give it a nice shape at this stamp part here. So I'm just going to take 1.5 inches off like this, then I'm going to blend it like this. Then I'll be cutting it out. Now, that's what I've done there. So the next thing here is to cut out the neckline. So I'll be taking uh, the wideness of 3 inches 
for the neckline the wideness is going to be three inches then the deepness for both back and front first is going to be 2.1.5 inches then i'm going to connect them together like this then i'll cut it out before we can cut out the front neckline you have to cut out the princess that face then replace it with this particular fabric then we cannot cut out the front neckline so let's do that now the distance of our the wideness of the princess that for this particular dress is 10 inches this is not constant it depends on the measurement you are using but this particular one is 10 inches then i'm starting from the hammer here i'm going to take the hammer measurement of um of 3.5 inches after 3.5 inches at the hammer the next thing you need is um 10 inches for the breast points then you need your distance my own distance here is um 10 inches also that is five you can see it here this is five in two places to give us 10 inches so you can see now this is 10 this is 5 making 10 because it's on fold so it's from this particular area that you're going to connect it to the to the ammo like this you connect it to the ammo like this connect them together then i'm going to take that five inches down to make a straight cut five inches also this is after chucking it out you can see so the next thing here is to cut it out And after placing it this way, the next thing is to cut the shape out. So I'm going to do the same to the back also, but before that, let me cut out the front neckline. So the front neckline is V-shaped. I'm going to take the measurement from the shoulder to 8 inches. That is the length I want. So you can use any length of your choice. 8 inches. Then from there, I'm going to slant it all to this area. This particular line, I'm going to use a bias to turn it to make it neat. And at this yeah, and at this area, it has a O. You can see like a button uh, loop that you can put a rule to twist it that way you're seeing on the screen. So that's how we're going to do. I'm done with the front own. Then I'm going to cut this particular one for the back also by taking 10 inches where I did for the front out. Then I'm going to replace it with this fabric. So let me go and cut it and show it to you. From the two yard of this plain fabric, you know, we deduct one and half yard for the body, and we are left it half yard. So this is the half yard that I'm using to cut out the sleeve. The sleeve is not a straight sleeve; it's a slant a line. Can see the way I slant it a little bit. I can see how I shape out my ammo uh, shape. 
so you can see the slant a line the style of the sleeve is slant a line you can see how it is so if you're cutting yours make sure you slant the your fabric do i slant mine to bring out that shape of the sleeve on the dress This is making of the rope and the wideness of this now is 1.5 inches you can see the way i'm folding it so i'm using this for the rope and also i'll be using this for the loop so those loop at the side and the loop at the neckline this is what i'm going to use for it you can see the way i'm sewing it so i did three rope and the length the length is 60 inches so i'm is i'm using each of these two the first one is for the one side of the dress and the second one is for the other side of the dress so those loop around this uh, waist side i'm going to use this i'll be cutting this out for the loop and for the loop at the chest line also i'll be making use of this third one and the and that rope had the chest line inside the loop I'll be using this also so this two is for the side and this is for the loop and the chest loop so so these are the loops I'm using you know four is at this side and four is at the other side too then three is a uh, six is at the neckline so I've cut everything out and the length of my loop is um, 2.8 inches this is the length I'm using so I'll be folding it into two this way, like this. You can see. This is after adding the loop to the side of the dress at both sides. You can see it. You can see the neckline too. I've used my bias to, to tape the neckline. And now I'll be showing you the way I twisted the rope. You can see. You're putting the rope at both um, sides of the loop. You can see the way I'm putting it. Then you twist it. So when you're twisting it, don't make it tight. Just for it to give you that picture you are seeing on the thumbnail. You don't make it tight. I'm still going to use the rope I did down. I'm just making use of this bias to make an illustration on how to fix it. So you can see what I've done now. Then you put it in and stitch it. Then you cut the remaining um, excess. You stitch it down there you can see it just stitch it there then you cut the remaining excess so that's how the neckline is going to be you can see how beautiful this turns out so let's go to the side of the dress the way we did for the front that's the way i did for the side so you can see now this is the side of the dress you can see how it turns out nicely so if you're watching me for the first time make sure you subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos and those people that I've already subscribed. I appreciate you guys for watching my video. Always bye.